Okay, we're uh, still uh, kind of on the subject of yin, female, feminine, receptive, dark energy, and I mean that in a not in a judgmental term, in a yin and a yang acupuncture. The dark side is the yin side, the light side is the yang side. I didn't make it up. Okay, relax. Uh, but one of the things that I was talking about was how if you get in a group of women, kind of eventually you will. Uh, be talking about relationships at some level, and I see relationships as they are. Oh, just an aside, the piano music in the background is my daughter Amy practicing downstairs, so you get to be serenaded at the same time. You get to listen to me. How exciting, huh? Uh, but I've said for years that uh, if you spend enough time in the institution of marriage, that there's a good chance you'll want to be institutionalized or should be institutionalized in some other institution. Uh, the institution of marriage makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever uh, for an outside person, religious or governmental, to have any say over you and your life and then to have you commit to somebody on their terms. Okay, They, they put down their terms and they say, okay, now you're, you're married. And then the marriage itself uh, is very rarely designed to look out for uh, each other's personal freedom. Now the little buzzer's gone off and my little humming thing on my computer. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, but at any rate, uh, most marriages, when you get into them, you have to go to a courthouse or to a religious figure. And I remember seeing a comic in Playboy magazine years ago, a young couple laying in bed, and there was a religious figure on one side of the bed and a governmental figure on the other, Uncle Sam, and they said, uh, we don't remember inviting either of you guys here. <laughs> but then there's all these constraints put on a marriage, um, and they're not normal, they're, they don't make any sense, they're put on there by, mostly in our cultures, by the Judeo-Christian uh, religious uh, factions that say you can't do this and you can do that. And I watch people in marriages, and a lot of times the marriage license seems to be a license to really beat the shit out of somebody, really not treat them well, and then say, but I love them so much. It's, you know, this is love. And I think, wow, with that much love, I'm not that interested in being loved that much. <laughs> but like I say, the yin and the yang, if we can get it working, you know, and... Uh, as my mentor, Martin Sage, said, you know, a marriage, if you can find a business partner that you like to have sex with, uh, it might work. And that's uh, what I've looked for. And uh, I think that that may be a solution outside of trying to fit in with the constraints of marriage. Although I've seen people get married in a religious institution, they've been married for years. I don't know how happy they are, but uh, they're not institutionalized either. And this is coming from a man who's been institutionalized for 20-some uh, years. <laughs> www.micperformance.com